orthopedics rotator cuff surgery set up is critical rotator cuff problems are common in general orthopedics you see a lot they don't all have to go to a shoulder surgeon as the technology has improved so much that the surgery has become a lot easier arthroscopic techniques are available but in my opinion they are harder and slower I prefer a mini incision technique here are my tips use a beach chair position Position the drapes with a pocket drape to hold the arm for you. Use a small angled retractor, so-called cerebellar retractor. My kingdom for a good retractor. Use fiber wire, it's from Arthrex, for the repair and use MyTech bony anchors or something similar. I use a mini incision approximately 2 cm long over the lateral acromion, but do not detach the deltoid from the acromion, but split the deltoid, then rasp. Yes, use a coarse rasp the undersurface of the acromion to clear enough space for your repaired rotator cuff. Here's the setup. The arm is resting in the pocket of the drape. See the clear transparent pocket. It's a really good setup. Just rest nicely there for you. I have my instrument tray over here and my stand so it's with an easy grasp and you don't have to bother your scrub nurse all the time. The other instruments are here. Here's the assistant. The instrument tray there's my two to four centimeter mini incision here's a large tear use fiber wire to bring it together and then anchor it to the bone with the bony anchors deltoid here's some other notes here's the deltoid where well, i detached from the deltoid earlier and it actually detached there's a gap with puckering in the skin partially detached heavy spoke of the bone was very soft here's another case for you Rotator cuff arthropathy, so tear the rotator cuff, secondary OA, confirmed by ultrasound. Would you repair this cuff or replace the joint, reverse shoulder joint? Well, that's expensive technology. I'm not sure the results are so great. Many of my patients ask me to attempt to repair the cuff, which I do, and leave the glenohumeral joint as is. <coughs> Here's another case of a large bald head, massive cuff tear. You can actually get these together, you take your time, mobilize, put your finger in under the acromion, around to the coracoid, back over the back of the humeral head. Free up all the adhesions, use Alice forceps to bring it together, use fiber wire along the longitudinal aspect of it and then anchor it to the bone with the MyTech. No matter how massive the tear is, try to repair it. Even if you only get 40 or 45% repair, you'll still notice a big improvement for the patient. So here's a repair by a mini incision technique and there's good, uh, good results at, at two months in a 60 year old female to have a massive tear. Again, rotator cuff arthropathy. Good range of motion, little pain, 80 year old. Major repair at two months. Case 5, a large retracted tear, mobilized, good repair. So in summary, the setup is good and critical and makes your surgery a lot easier for you. Rotator cuff arthropathy, my opinion is try to repair the cuff, don't just rush to reverse shoulder replacement as it's very expensive technology and I'm not sure the results are that much better. Thank you for your interest.